Okay, uh, for this video, open up the file I gave you called Demolish. Okay, and then here we're, we're looking at <clears throat> the, the levels and the views are already created for you. It's the wall itself that has not been, none of the element faces have been changed. <clears throat> so go to the, let's see. The existing level, which should be the default when you open it up, and we can look down here and it's set at existing and show all. Okay, click this wall here in the, oh, come on. All right, so select that wall and you can see it's, it's still set as existing and none for demolished. Now, I have to give you, uh, come on mouse. A little bit of warning here when you there's two ways to set things to be demolished one is through uh, select the element you go to the view that you want select the element and then change it over here in the face okay the other is on the modify toolbar the little hammer right there well, that will mark an element as demolished, okay? But it does it in the current phase that you're located in. So I, it wouldn't matter what view I'm on, if, you know, if I do it in properties, you know, it, it's, it's more fail-safe. If I do it with the tool, then I have to be very careful of what, what view that I'm looking at. So, so let's go to our demolition layer and just make it easier or layer <laughs> or demolition plan. Okay. All right. And so down here, we're set new construction, show previous plus demo. So I'm going to select this wall. And over here in my properties, I'm going to change phase demolished to new construction. Because we don't have a demolished phase, if you will. Okay. Now you could, if you have a major big renovation project and you want all of your demolition stuff to be marked on one plan, you could certainly have a demo phase. That, that would be, you know. It'd be okay. It'd work. All right. So now we can see that that has changed. So let's go back and look at the existing plan and the new construction plan. So you can see that particular wall is gone. Okay. Now there has been some changes in here with the new construction plan. The room size, the room was changed. And of course, you know, that's all new stuff there too. Now let's, um, Let's go back to here and hit the undo button to bring that back to where it was. Now, if I, if I use the demo tool, I have to be in the correct phase. So I'm in new construction, so I can use the demo tool to do it. So we'll come here. And you see on new construction, it's no longer visible. On the demo page, it is. But it's because I was already in the correct phase when I did that. So I'm going to undo that. So you can see back here. So if I were in the new construction phase, wait. If I'm in my existing phase and I demo it, is gone because it it demoed it in this particular phase and so no matter where i look well there it shows it up because i my filter is to show previous and demo but that wall 
was demolished in the wrong place because I was on the wrong view when I did it. I was on the existing view when I did it, and I should have been in demolition. It, the reason I'm rambling on about this thing is because if you're going to use the tool up here to demolish something, you've got to be in the correct phase that it's going to be demolished in. Okay, so if I were on the existing phase and I hit demolish, it, it wipes it out of my existing layer or view and it just causes problems. I, I know I've rambled on about this thing. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to explain exactly what you want. Break it down finally just to say, if you're going to use the tool, you've got to be in the current phase that you want it demolished in. You do not want to be in the existing phase. You want to be on a new construction phase. It can be on the demo page <coughs> level, or it can be on a new construction level because those are both new construction phase. All right, keep that in mind. Now, uh, your project, let me close these things down. Your project for this week is I've given you a floor plan. Um, I've, I've given you a, a, a building. I've given you a basement, okay? <laughs> and that's all there is to it, is a basement, you can see. All right, and so I have a level here called basement existing and a ceiling plan basement existing. So I've already renamed those, and they are set to existing phase. What you're going to do is create duplicate views. And you're going to make these modifications here. I, I've given you a scope of work um, of, of what all needs to happen. And this is just a, a quick down and dirty sketch. So you're going to you're going to demo this wall and door right here in blue. And you're going to add walls where the red is at. You'll add a wall here with a door in it. Uh, I think there's doors going in these two also. <clears throat> it's all in the scope of work. The red lines just show you the location where. Okay, and in Blackboard, uh, okay. So you have a new floor plan and a new reflected ceiling plan to show the demolition scope of the work. So that's a, a duplication of levels there. And then a new floor plan and reflective ceiling plan indicating new construction scope of work. So you're going to you're going to create two new or two duplicates of the scene plan and the basement plan. And then, because you're all professionals now and working in this stuff, I want you to dimension and annotate the model and the sheets as necessary for the demolition and the new construction scope of work. Okay, so demo would be real simple. It'd be like, you know, a dimension for what you're demoing, what you're taking out, and the word demo, <laughs> you know, remove wall, remove door, things like that. Uh, the new construction pages, that's where you're going to hit some more dimensions and some more notes and things like that, okay? All right, if you've got questions, come and see me. Um, shoot me an email. We can do a WebEx call whatever needs to happen, okay? Have fun. <laughs>